Hello everybody, it's Cindy, and welcome to Cindy Lou Loves Glam 2. You're new here, welcome, thanks for stopping on by. I hope you enjoy this ride, and if you do, would you please take a moment and consider subscribing? Uh, it helps out my ego quite a bit, and you know, we could all use an ego boost in these trying times. As you see the title, it's new makeup bingo nonsense. I have filmed one of these once before. It is something that Emily Hanhan and uh, Teresa is dead both do as an ongoing collaboration, but they have also created a community playlist. And the whole spiel is you uh, get yourself a, a nice a adult beverage. You sit down with your makeup bingo card. Uh, you scroll through the trend mood or wherever else you might get your new makeup release news and you see what you can hit on your bingo card hopefully before you get to knock down intoxicated so i have filmed one of these once before i came this close this close to posting it and then i pulled back and here's why so i haven't really i don't know if i've ever like really full-on said what i do in my day job but i'm basically an expert witness uh, for my organization. I end up uh, testifying in hearing rooms quite a bit. And on the off chance that they ever go through and find my uh, channel and go through the videos, the last thing I need to be presented with uh, when I'm in the courtroom being, you know, cross-examined is to have uh, opposing counsel pull up uh, a, a YouTube video with me getting drunk talking about something as benign as makeup releases. I really believe in my um, organization's mission and I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. So unfortunately, I will not be getting drunk on camera anytime soon. I will be drinking, but it won't be as fun. But all the same, I, I, I promise to be salty. Salty, meaning I will use some colorful language. So if you have any young children listening nearby or are not into that kind of thing, please feel free to click off this video now. But thank you so much for stopping on by. Or at least interesting. This will be the designated driver uh, version of the new makeup bingo nonsense. Oh God, I'm, I'm screwing this up already. See, I'm not even drinking and I'm already screwing this up. The new makeup release nonsense bingo designated driver edition. I've tried to not watch too much of new releases. So um, I'm just gonna kind of hopefully jump around a little bit. So it's fresh to me and I'm actually like reacting in real time to it. That could end up being a disaster, who knows. I'll just go ahead and flash my makeup bingo card up on the screen right now. Before we get started, if you do wanna play along, um, I will leave a link to the cards. I think the current ones say March. You can probably use them. You know, it's it's just fun. I do want to thank uh, Emily and Teresa for uh, letting me play in your sandbox. And I really appreciate it. And th this is a whole lot of fun. I love watching you two do it. Um, and anybody who does not know who they are i will leave the, a link to their channels down below but chances are if you're watching this you're probably watching this from the community pl playlist they have tons more subscribers than i do and probably don't need me to promote them but you know nevertheless uh go check out their channels you will not be disappointed first things first so it looks like we have the Fenty Beauty the Slip Shine Lipstick. Uh, it includes 10 new shades. Looks like it's going to be available June 5th. I don't know if I have anything salty to say about it. Uh, we do have a few wild colors here. Um, is that like a lip balm? There's one on there that's white. I'm gonna have to assume that it's a lip balm because um, it doesn't really look like there's much pigment to it. These are some really nice colors. I like them. I like them. I especially at uh, that orange on the end. I am a sucker for orange lipsticks. Every single time I, I do my, uh, I watch other people do boxy charm unboxings and things like that. And they get 
you know, orange lipsticks. I'm like, oh man, how come I never get that? How come I always get the deep plums that I can barely wear? She says that she wears goth lipstick. Oh. Oh, I'm glad there was a mirror here because I would have gone that entire video with this lipstick smeared up on here. I think I'm liking this. Uh, I don't know about that pale pink, but a lot of these colors look like they would be fairly flattering. I'd, I'd stay away from that plum, but I don't know about that white though. I don't know what it's, I, I've got to assume that's like a lip balm, right? I don't know. I wonder how much this will cost. Does it say on here? It doesn't say anything about how much they cost. I'm, I'm going to assume just, you know, based off of how much, um, other Fenty lipsticks have run. I mean, I'm guessing somewhere in the 18 to $20 range. So the Matte Moiselle uh, lipstick is runs for $18, and I think this is basically the uh, glossy version of that. Um, I don't know if I need to be buying any more lipsticks anytime soon, but uh, it seems like a, a nice pretty range. With these kind of glossier lips, they tend to... Um, not stick to the lips as much. I noticed that obviously shinier lipsticks are more likely to smear and uh, that deep plum or coral, even though I like the coral, I, you might have to worry about it, but I'd be interested in seeing if they, if they actually, you know, kind of stay put. Uh, if they do, that, that sounds like a match made in heaven. I, I don't think I can mark anything on my card here, so we'll move on. Oh. So it looks like Linda Hallberg Cosmetics, which I am unfamiliar with Ms. Linda. I may have to, to look her up. Never heard of her before. That doesn't mean anything. I'm still new to the luxury makeup world. I may not know jack crap, okay? It looks like she's adding a lip primer and a mascara. And the mascara looks like it's waterproof, which y'all know if you have been watching me, I pretty much only wear waterproof mascaras. Now, occasionally you might come across a, a mascara once in a lifetime that uh, it may not be necessarily waterproof, but can hold up pretty well. Um, it's pretty decent water resistance wise. I have extreme watery dry eye and um, I don't mess with non-waterproof mascaras. Uh, I have ha been in so, many situations where I get even the slightest amount of like tearage out the corner and suddenly everything's running in my eyes. So if it isn't a waterproof mascara and if it isn't a, an actual waterproof mascara that actually holds up, which I've had several brands have claimed that they're waterproof. Right in the middle of rush hour traffic, it started running in my eyes. It was a miracle I did not crash, okay. I've not really heard of this cosmetics brand before, but it does look like nice sleek packaging. Um, I'm always leery, you know, if somebody says it's, it's waterproof, then Holy shit, it's like $29, uh-uh. That's another thing. I can find some decent waterproof mascaras for, you know, at the drugstore. So if you are expecting me to pay any more than, I mean, even $20 is pushing it. I try to get everything on sale if I can. Um, all the higher end mascaras that I, I wear, I try to get them on sale. $29, good lord. I mean, maybe I should look up this place. Is, is she really that high end? At $29 for a mascara? Hello, who do you think you are? And then there's a lipstick primer. It's not even a lipstick, it is a primer, and the primer is $19. Y'all. I see these videos where people put on primers and then lip liners and then lips. Y'all, I love lipstick and I love wearing it to complete the look, but I don't like spending any more than one step on my lips. Putting a primer and a lip liner, no. And then expecting me to pay 19 bucks for it? I'm sorry, but no. No, 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 no. And of course this Infinity Power Lash Waterproof Mascara will keep your lashes curled and in place without ever smudging or flaking long wear. And yeah, that's a lot to live up to. Everybody claims that. We'll, we'll uh, see if that actually holds up. Guess it's supposed to be a more natural looking mascara. 
because they look somewhat long, but they don't look super thick. I mean, I'm glad that they're not overly photoshopping the chick they've got this on, but this is real close up, like no other eye makeup or anything to, you know, really showcase this. It's, that's, it's just an interesting choice. It's an interesting marketing choice. That's all I gotta say. I don't know. I just don't like spending that kind of money. I like to to lay my money down on other products. It, yeah, we're 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 not doing well so far. No no hits here. Mama is not bringing the jackpot home with the uh, the free chicken dinner tonight. Oh, here we have uh, YSL or Yves Saint Laurent. So it looks like we have a clutch palette, is what they're calling. It's the Couture Color Clutch uh, by YSL. And they have two eyeshadow palettes. Each, each palette includes 10 shades with matte and shimmering fin finishes. Um, one is called Paris and the other is called Marrakesh. Oh, 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 you tricked me. You tricked me, YSL. When they said clutch, when they said clutch palette, I was like, oh man, are, is there going to be like a, a little gold chain that you can pull off of this and like wear it around like a purse? That would have been awesome. Or like if there would have been like, oh man, that's a winning idea have like one of those little wallet things to it and then you have your makeup and your wallet oh, who am i kidding that's a terrible idea makeup all over your credit cards and stuff all it takes is one great big bang to it and everything busts all over the place some really nice packaging here but they are calling it a clutch i'm sure since it's ysl it'll be ridiculously overpriced i don't know how the quality of their stuff obviously since i generally like to go fishing in bargain bins and primarily get my makeup from subscription boxes i do occasionally splurge uh not sure i'm gonna splurge for this one but i kind of like it i kind of do i kind of like it it is very pretty very sleek packaging let me look at that there's the first palette that has a lot of blues and like um, orangey pinks and it looks like a few like um, light shimmery shades in there anytime you give me a good teal I I don't know I just if if I see teal and coral in there or teal and pink I don't know why but my I'm not even sure what that area of your brain is that lights up when it's like all pleasure I'm sure all the dopamine start kicking through my body or whatever and I'm just like whoo I want makeup even though I have that same palette probably five times over um but yeah this has got a cute range on here i love that um shimmery green and I, I really like the paris one the marrakesh one looks kind of interesting that yellow is really kind of pulling my eye to it and then of course like to put it next to the the purple um and the mobs in the palette really are a bold move i like the packaging on this because it does have like that very nice sleek uh black packaging to it it looks like it's nice and hefty which i'm guessing for the price that you pay for it with a ysl it better be they're both pretty i like them i'm not gonna buy them does ysl usually have big palettes like this I'd, I'd be curious to know aren't these some fairly bold colors for ysl don't they typically stick within the neutral range please don't tell me i'm gonna be oh for three here this this might take a while i i can understand why people might get three sheets to the wind on the, these things oh, oh good god i like this it's pretty uh but it's it's just more of the same from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, so I guess I should say what we have here uh, if you haven't figured it out in the picture below. But uh, we do have a sneak peek. We have uh, new shades, three matte revolution bridal lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. $34 each, uh, which is why I have never really tried any of Miss Tilbury's line. Um, I hear good things about it. Uh, supposedly everybody goes gaga for the pillow talk thing, but you know, now she's kind of played that out a little bit too much. I love these shades. I mean, they're nudes. They're pretty nude pinks. I mean, I'd be curious to know if they're really that different from the rest of her line. I have found that my makeup tastes have obviously 
changed over the years and I've started warming up a little bit more to buying higher end stuff. But I'm not quite at the, at, I'm just not there. I'm not quite at the point in time when I would spend $34 on a lipstick in a basic pink lipstick. I mean, that, that formula's gotta, I mean, unless it stays on my lips all day, no reapplication, does not dry it out. Like it's the wonder product to, to be all wonder products. I don't know if it's for me or if it's worth me spending that kind of money on it. But I do like these. I think I might have to start calling this, you know, Cindy looks at makeup and then, you know, bitches about the price. Like an old woman. No, that's too much. I'm pretty sure this is a brand that will never end up in BoxyCharm. So chances are, if I want to try to Charlotte Tilbury, I will actually have to purchase it on my own. Uh, but given the uh, reviews I see, it's very overhyped uh, and definitely not worth the price tag. Um, I have to assume that this is going to be the same. And so I could be wrong by, by saying this, but I'm going to go with same shit, new packaging. <laughs> Next we have the Urban Decay uh, Naked Ultraviolet, you know, because they haven't beat that, that dead horse enough yet. So uh, I guess we're going to have naked every color of the rainbow. I, you know, Here's the thing. Is it really naked if we're getting into colors here now? I mean, I, the only person I know who's purple naked, I guess one could turn purple if they're, you know, out in a snowstorm and they're naked. I guess their skin could like kind of turn purplish before it becomes necrotic with, you know, frostbite. And I guess there are a few little peachy shades to kind of go with the purple. I'm into it. I'm digging it. I don't, I don't mind. It's just that I wouldn't call it naked and it is a cool name. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, doubt that, but I mean, enough with the naked stuff, you know, guys, maybe it's time to just let that one die. <laughs> just let it die uh let's move on you could have just called it the ultraviolet palette this is pretty cool looking and it is you know on par with i feel like um you know you know jeffree star of course had his purple palette release and i think we've seen a few others uh recently um but honestly color pop was already probably kind of ahead of the game you know last uh, last fall, I think they released that Lilac You A Lot palette. I can't quite recall if, if Lilac or that purple color was, you know, all the rage last summer or not, but um, I think ColourPop kind of beat everybody to it. I've never tried anything from the, the Urban Decay line. Oh, everybody used to go gaga over the Naked palette. Um, I think since then, you know, people have been like, what were we thinking? I don't know. I've never tried the range. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not likely to try it now. Although this palette with these colors are right up my alley. Um, but I just, I have enough right now. If I had all the money in the world, sure. Why not? But I guess, uh, Urban Decay is just going to ride that monochromatic thing and call it naked. The naked green. Oh God. Call it gangrene. You know what? This definitely fits under the, um, half neutral, half colorful palette. So here we have the elf cosmetics. I guess this is a new palette and it looks like it's supposedly a pets theme by Jay Kessa. I guess Jay Kessa has helped Elf to curate another uh, palette. To the Rescue eyeshadow palette. It includes a sticker sheet so you can decorate the front of the palette's cover, which is white, and make it your own. Oh boy, arts and crafts with my uh, makeup purchase. Oh, there, this is a whole collection. Oh, this is a whole collection. Oh man, okay. Um, so it looks like we've got some new brushes and, uh, of course we have the eyeshadow palette here, very colorful rainbow. And it looks like it's named after all of these pets, which I, you know, I wouldn't associate rainbows with, you know, dogs. 
Um, they're all dogs, actually, instead of just pets. So there's the Forever Brush set. It looks like the full collection is $57, which is not bad. Um, it does say that Elf Cosmetics will donate $1 up to $25,000 to J Kiss's favorite rescue. Okay, I see. So this is apparently like an animal rescue. Some of the proceeds go to that. Hello all. I know this may not be in the spirit of makeup bingo releases, but I just had some afterthoughts that I really couldn't hold on to. It really kind of grinded my gears after I thought about this release a little bit more. And here's why. So the first point is Elf only donating money to the Angel City Pitbulls if people post pictures to their Instagram with their pets and tagging Elf is incredibly tacky. They will already be able to take a tax deduction for donating to charity. And then on top of that, they're getting free marketing. Number two, Elf releasing a rainbow palette during this time of year to capitalize on the Pride Awareness Month is also tacky. And on top of that, the charity that they are donating to isn't even going to a Pride charity. I'm okay with releasing a rainbow palette during any other time of year, but this is not the time of year to release this and to basically capitalize on the LGBTQ plus community. It just boggles my mind. And then for the charity that you donate it to, to not be related. I'm fine with you donating to this charity as well, but I mean, maybe this time of year is not the time to be releasing it. And I really don't blame Jay Kissa for that. Elf is the one making the decisions to release this and when they release it. So, you know, could we not have held on to it a few months? And number three, as I'm about to say, this palette is not tacky. It's very beautiful and it's smartly put together and it should be easy for people who aren't used to color to kind of put together a colorful look with the way that they've set everything up. But the way in which it's being released and marketed is tacky. And that's it. We'll get back to the video now. This is cute. I have not tried and well, I may have tried elf eyeshadows, but it was like such a long time ago. Like I think I got like a super huge rainbow palette like years and years ago. And I ended up tossing it because I wasn't using it and it was like big and bulky and taking up my only makeup drawer at that time. I was still using single shadows from CoverGirl, y'all. But it might be interesting to try some e.l.f. because, you know, it is fairly affordable. And I've heard good things about the range, although I do hear that some of the eyeshadows can be hit or miss. What's the other thing here? Suki to my heart eyeshadow duel. So it's a, it's gold sparkly with a clear base. So it's a liquid eyeshadow. That's not for me. I think we've seen so many rainbow palettes. I guess the gimmick here is being able to decorate your palette, which who the hell has the time for that? Uh, I'm assuming that if you're a big uh, fan of Jay Kessa, you know, obviously you will get this. Um, what's interesting about the palette is, yeah, it's a rainbow palette, but it looks like um, in each of the, the categories, it's got a, like a nice, um, so you have your reds and you've got like a bright red matte and a deeper red matte, and then you have a nice sparkly um, shimmer. And I kind of like that. You can mix and match amongst it and create a lot of um, cool looks, but if you want to just keep it simple and monochromatic, but you still want to have like some depth to your eyes, it's, that, that's, it's a cool layout. I kind of like it. I'm probably not going to get it, but I kind of like it. I mean, other than the gimmicky arts and crafts, you know, vibe there, which don't get me wrong. I like art. I do. I like, you know, drawing things and everything, but I'm just not going to spend time doing it on, on the front of my, my makeup palette, you know. I'm going to go with it's a rainbow pal pal palette 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 like i said i don't even i don't even have to drink to say things stupid <laughs> so we have here the uh jeffree star cremated palette and i've already bought it so you will be seeing some reviews on it. S since I've purchased it, I feel a little bit guilty, not just because it's 
expensive. So I, I've mentioned this, and if, if this is the first time you're, you're watching me, my dad uh, passed away from COVID um, back in April. Um, it was unexpected because, like, we weren't sure. Uh, you know, obviously my parents were young enough where they, you know, had never even, like, really picked out plots or anything. So he did end up being cremated. Um, so... I'm excited to watch every new uh, Jeffrey Star launch thing uh, video whenever he comes up, and um, always interested in seeing what he's got. And uh, gotta admit, when <laughs> when he first announced the name, I was uh, less than thrilled. And this is probably something that I'll deal with more when probably when I'm doing the review, but. Less than thrilled with the name, especially, you know, when so many people are kind of going through that at this point in time where like, you know, I haven't even, we haven't had, a, we had a private viewing with just us and dad um, before, but we haven't had a chance to have like an actual full blown funeral slash memorial service slash whatever. And God knows when we will. So, you know, not the best time to be releasing a palette like that. And um, I, I do have to say, I, I do realize that it takes several months to, to develop this. It's an edgy thing. It's something, death is something that's fairly normalized for Jeffrey. So, you know, and, you know, he has that goth background. So the whole, you know, idea of death and for God's sakes, his palette last year looked like a coffin. So... Um, and people weren't as outraged by that because, you know, obviously it didn't have a pandemic going on. I didn't like overreact, but I did have like a, like a really, you know, um, reaction to it. Like, was that necessary? But as I was saying, if you already have something edgy, then that means that it's more like <laughs> you're just really taking a risk that uh, something unexpected like this might make you look uh, even more like a jerk for releasing it. But when he opened it up, it's like I have been wanting cool tone things. I've been gravitating towards cool tones, grays, things like that. And um, while I have quite a few in my collection, like I feel like they're not giving me the pow that I want. I know a lot of people reacted negatively to this. But honestly, this this is kind of this color story just just where my mind was at. I go through phases. Like I like warm tones. I really like anything, any time of the day. But like for some reason lately, I was wanting to, you know, more, go for more of the grays. And um, so when he rele releases, and even that, I also just kind of wanted some more taupes or even like gray grayish toned nudes because I feel like whenever I wear those kind of like taupey, gray, um, grayish brown or grayish shades on my eye. Like it just really, it really looks good on me, I think. Then again, on the other hand, I, I also thought that wearing burgundy hair was for two or three years in a row was, you know, a great look for me. I've been looking back at pictures. That was a choice. So anyway, when I saw this, I was like, hey, this is like kind of a cool, cool tone, neutral palette. And I'm, you know, digging the shimmers. I'm digging some of these other colors. There is an awful lot of re repetition. And, um, I, you know, I'll see if, if it lives up to the, the hype. But uh, I did go ahead and subject myself once again to the... Uh, digital equivalent of Black Friday and uh, grabbed a few uh, other lipsticks that I've been waiting on. Um, I also got one of the glosses. I think I got Coroner's Kiss and I know a lot of people wanted that Heaven's Gate one and I figured you know what I have so many glosses like that already. I just kind of wanted uh, to try um, the grayish one and I kind of liked the golden uh, the golden tones of that. Like it was gray but it has a golden goldish tone to it. I just really liked it. It spoke to me. And so I did, you know, I did go ahead and buy it and you'll be seeing a review from me on it and, and some other things as well. I'm going to milk as many videos out of that puppy as possible. Again, I still haven't been drinking. 
I don't even know if I finished that thought or not. You might just, I might even have to cut that out. Good Lord. So cremated is a go. Already done it. Already done bought it. Already done spent a lot of money on it. See, I can't call that a basic AF neutral palette. It is a neutral palette. But I don't think it's basic AF. I know. We're going to fit it under yet another lip gloss. <laughs> Apparently, there is a new limited edition peach makeup eraser seven day set. It comes in a peachy color and it looks like they put it in a little package here that makes it look like a peach. I have had an, a makeup eraser uh, before. I don't know what the heck happened to it. I got it in a subscription box. Um, I think I got a mini version and I think this looks like it might be a mini version too. They are good, uh, but it also, you know, I think they're overpriced microfiber cloths. If you, if you ask me, I, I'm guessing that you could go get a pack of microfiber cloths and get the same like, um, textured removal with just water, um, as you could with these. I could be wrong. Um, I've never really tried that. Maybe I should. Oh, it's $20. Well, that's not terrible, right? It says $20 with a $40 value. Well, that's not a bad price. I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I would consider that. I don't know. It'd be nice to get more makeup erasers, and it is very cute packaging, but you know you're not going to keep that little bag around to hold all this stuff in. Um, I guess it could be used as a travel bag later, but... Don't get me wrong. If I got another one in a subscription box, I'd like it. But it, to me, they're they're overpriced washcloths. That's what they are. I'm going to go ahead and go with a bundle deal no one wants. Maybe plenty of people do do want it, but uh, that's where I'm marked. Uh, this is all my opinion. You are you feel free to film your own and release it and uh, explain how wrong I am. Oh, kimchi beauty. You know, I love kimchi. I love kimchi. I really do. And I've been wanting to try the, the line here, but wow, we've got a whole rainbow of different color correctors here. Um, really some colors that not most people throw out there. So that's kind of nice. It's a nice little range here. Buildable full coverage that feels lightweight, which, you know, I'm hoping that a drag queen knows the full coverage. The only thing is that I don't really see, see, I'm a, I do like to use a little bit of peach, um, under eye concealer and I'm seeing an orange one. I'm not really seeing one that would work probably for my skin tone unless I were to go for like the yellow. I'm guessing um, the brand here is saying that it hides the redness or yellowing of your skin. It can also be used to reduce the appearance of dark circles. So I'm guessing for a lighter skin person such as I, uh, without as many yellow undertones, I have more of like a neutral. I'd probably get the white, which also could be helpful for if you've got um, a foundation that's just a tad too dark, lightening it up as well. If you like color correctors, uh, probably won't be getting it, but it's also very affordable too. This is what, $14? I'm curious. That's all I can say. Yo, I need to hurry this up. So I'm going to go ahead and say that it's a new celeb. Uh, she did just release her brand in the last six months. So I'll consider it now. So Morphe is releasing a limited edition collection to inspire you to shine your light and help shape a brighter future for LGBTQ plus students everywhere. So we have the 10G, I think Glisten Up Artistry Palette, G-L-S-E-N, Better World, like, like instead of world, like W-H-I-R-L-E-D, instead of world, world. Uh, six piece brush collection, uh, lip gloss, speak out, hol holographic rainbow sparkle, 
and Pride Continuous Setting Mist in a limited edition scent of what? What's the scent? <sighs> okay. So this is a whole bundle. This looks like it almost might be like pressed glitters. Is it just shimmers or is there glitters in here? Because it looks like it's glitters in here. Will be available May 28th online at Morphe Brushes. Donation of 100% of net proceeds, a minimum of 50,000. They will be donating a minimum of 50,000. Will be made to GLSEN org oh okay so this is this is definitely um for pride um i guess i can't call it a cash grab then because <laughs> all of it will be going to the organization with a minimum of fifty thousand. the palette will be 18 dollars. the brush collection is 26 uh lip gloss is nine and the continuous setting mist will be sixteen dollars it's not for me nobody's gonna be going anywhere though that's the that's the problem with all of this like nobody is anybody really gonna be buying any of this stuff because like i mean i doubt that we'll be having pride parades this year i do want to look this up and see if there's press glitters in there because that's what it looks like to me so the first the top row is uh our toppers are meant to be toppers and they're kind of like these pastel ish looking toppers they do look pretty and then the second row are glitters the middle uh, purple shade there is a multi-chrome glitter that's pretty i like it not going to be getting it but um and you know good on them if they're able to raise some some money uh definitely good on them we're gonna mark this under Press glitter in an eyeshadow palette. What? Oh, come on. Okay. Next, Maybelline New York has created the Falsies Lash Mask. It is an overnight eyelash conditioner to create supple lashes and soft lashes. It is infused with a Procara Complex Shea Butter and uh, Argon Oil. It says this lash mask will give you healthier looking lashes in three uses. Uh, you're supposed to apply before bed, wear overnight, and wash it off in the AM. No, no. I put lotion on my face. Sometimes you're lucky if I actually remember to wash everything off at the end of the day. I know that sounds nasty and crude, but you know, I'm a mom. I stay up late doing, you know, mom things like folding laundry and doing dishes and you know, whatever. Sometimes I go to bed pretty late and I'm exhausted and I forget to take off whatever I put on my face for the day. Like I've already got enough of a routine going. Like it's enough to, for me to put like a night mask on uh, or a, a overnight lotion and some eye cream. I am not, repeat, not conditioning my lashes too that's a step i got no time for and i don't care how cheap it is at the drugstore it ain't gonna happen uh-uh no this is ridiculous good god keep finding new ways to like make our beauty routines ridiculous no i don't even care if my lashes we're not doing well. Doing this is not gonna bring them back. It's not gonna bring them back. And you want soft lashes, come on. Healthier looking lashes, I'm always gonna cover it with mascara anyway. It's always gonna look somewhat clumpy and hardened by my mascara, so what's the point of me doing this? I, I don't know, somebody explain this to me. Because all I see is an additional tool of oppression for women. Man, I can't even count this towards anything. I was excited because I thought there was going to be another mascara here. And to find this crap out, can I call this a catfish? I'm going to call this a product that is a catfish because they ticked me off here. I, th I thought I was about to get a new revolutionary uh, mascara. So that's where I'm marking it. Like I said, if you get a problem with it, play it. 
yourself. We have a new iconic London bronzer. This is some nice uh, kind of chic packaging with some fancy schmancy embossing in the product it looks like. Ultimate bronzing powders, $35 each. Okay, I see uh, iconic is really taking on that whole if you don't value yourself others won't value you uh, mentality there. It does have light, medium, warm, and deep. You know, I don't know if I really notice a difference between them. I don't know if the deep is really deep enough, is it? I mean, I mean, obviously I'm pale, so I mean, many of these colors would probably work on me. It could just be the photography, but it, I feel like three of the colors look very similar and one is like somewhat darker. Um, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, variation here. I foresee this ending up in a future boxy charm. I feel like there could be a little bit more range between the different colors because like I said, maybe again it's the flash photography, but like three of them look almost like identical in their colors. Which you know with a bronzer, like how many different shades of bronzer can you really get? But you know, I'm sure you could if you tried. And I know others have, so um, not sure if Iconic is really trying here. That's going to be a no from me. And on my card, I'm going to go with a complexion release with a terrible range. Oh boy. We've got another Barbie collaboration. Uh, this time it's with skincare. So Glam Glow is collaborating with Barbie for limited edition packaging. And it says the Barbie Glam Glow collection celebrates self-confidence through skin health. It includes a super mud clearing treatment mask, which targets problematic, congested, and dull skin. And after 20 minutes, skin looks clearer. It has a super six acid blend. And then there's the Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer which is a skincare illuminator hybrid. Interesting. Uh, so I guess it's a skincare with highlighter. Yeah, that's, hmm. How am I gonna spread that all over my face? I, I, hmm. I don't wanna look like I fell down in a pile of fairy crap. So it's a mega illuminating moisturizer, skincare illuminator hybrid, instantly hydrates the complexion and adds a hit of radiance delivers a burst of hydration botanicals and hit of luminosity suitable on all skin tones hyaluronic acid ceramides and jojoba oil brightening pearls will be available on june 1st it's cute packaging such cute packaging i am curious does this exist already and they're just putting it in barbie packaging because i get Oh, look, they've got the little Barbie shoes and the mud mask. Isn't that adorable? It's just limited edition packaging, right? It's not like it's a new product. They've had it for a while. This is literally just adding Barbie packaging. That's it. This is their old products, but just with Barbie packaging. Um, come on. Who's going to buy? Like, how is that new? I just... Is there anybody who is a Barbie collector who really just gets into that Barbie packaging? I'm going to go for a true cash grab because I think that the only way, reason that they're doing this, they haven't released anything new. Um, they're literally just putting Barbie on it and that the uh, Barbie collectors out there will just buy it and maybe not even use the product. I don't know. We're, there's just nothing new here. <laughs> I do like Brio Geo products. Okay, so here we have the Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado plus Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfoods Hair Mask. Can we shorten our product names, please? Can we shorten our product names? I'm not gonna think any less of you, Brio Gio. I'm not gonna think any less of you, the rest of the world. I don't need to know your ingredient list all in your title of your product. You can just put that right on the back. 
put it right on the back. Come up with something concise and snappy. All right, just trim it down, trim it down. Just, just come up with something cute, you know? You know, Glam Glow at least came up with Glow Starter, you know, Super Mud. That says it all. Super Mud. Oh my God, it's Super Mud. It's going to make my face look great. Take a page from Glam Glow, okay? All right. So it says it's a protein-free nourishing hair mask formulated with highly emollient ingredients to boost moisture for softer, more manageable hair. I think Brio Geo does not use... Uh, sulfates or silicones and um, some of the other stuff that I try to watch with my hair um, since I follow the curly girl method um, so I think I might be into this it's $36 it's a little bit you know on the pricey side I might think about it I don't know how long though this lasts I can't tell quite from the picture how big it is if it's a fairly sizable amount I might have to consider it says it's hydrates dry parched hair. I definitely have dry parched hair. I know. I definitely consider it. Can I count this as a food themed makeup release? <laughs> oh wait, no, because it's not makeup. Well, I guess it's makeup, not hair care products. So I should have taken that into account. So boo on me. Oh. Oh. We have a new watermelon facial mist from Trader Joe's. I don't have a Trader Joe's anywhere near me, so not likely to pick this up anytime soon. It's usually about a 45 minute trip through traffic. Although these days with, uh, you know, quarantines, maybe the traffic isn't all that bad. It's not a whole lot. Um, there's facial mist and there's an overnight face mask. I don't know, I like the Glam Glow watermelon stuff. I'm probably not likely to try this, but I, I how it would compare like the watermelon overnight face mask i wonder how that would compare to the glow recipe i'd be interested in 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 testing that sometime is it a makeup release it's not really a makeup release whatever it's food themed i'm going with it it's a food themed makeup release for the win my friends that means we are done with new makeup release bingo <laughs> If you enjoyed this, please give me a big thumbs up. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I have nothing else to say because I'm, I'm tired and uh, you're tired and we're all just tired. But I, hopefully, hopefully I've been entertaining for you. I encourage everybody to, of course, stay safe. Uh, practice social distancing. Wash your hands. Uh, wear a mask in public, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And with that, have a great day, evening, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.